Hey, what's up guys? It's Jdog the Bomb, and today I'm going to be talking about iGates. Um, it's a plugin for Bucket, and I'm hoping to do some tutorials on uh, multiple plugins. Uh, see if I can help you guys out if you guys are wanting to create a server. I'm not sure what type of server if you want to create, you know, just one for you and your friends, or you want to try to create a big server like I'm trying to do. Um, sorry if it's a little bit laggy. I guess all the stuff going on is making it a small amount of lag going on because um, I'm running a server and everything, but um, I'm just going to introduce you to iGates, which is my favorite um, portal plugin. I looked through a few when I was building my server, and um, I seem to have the best success with this one. So uh, without chattering too much, I'm going to go ahead and get into it. So what you're going to use for the base command is forward slash IG, which is, you know, iGates. So um, the first thing you want to do, like if let's say you want to set up a portal you're gonna build in you can you know set it up like above the ground a little bit you can you know go like this set it under the ground you can make it as big as you want which is what I like about this plugin um, compared to multiple other plugins that I tried and you don't even have to have a square there you do initially or you have to have a block there um, but you can take it all away and just have a little water fountain you can jump into if you'd like um, so that's also a good thing but what you're going to do is you're going to need to grab a wooden axe, which is also the selecting tool for World Guard and some other things, I'm sure. Um, but so the first thing you're going to need to do is create a portal. And you're, so what you're going to do is you're going to hit forward slash I G create. And then you're going to name it, whatever you're going to name this one. We're going to name this one test. And then we're going to do a water. Now, I usually do water. You can do portal. You can do lava. Um, so that's cool but um, what I usually do is water it looks nice um, but you can you know switch some things around if you want to do the nether you might do lava or something like that <clears throat> but once you have it created um, what you're gonna do is you're going to set the two position now um, this is the entrance portal let's say and then let's say that the exit portal just for now is gonna be here now you probably are not going to um, actually make them that close together because you know then what's the point of having a portal really uh, but um, just for the test's sake we're going to make a portal right here so let's say this is you know we're just gonna pretend that's not right there and you go to here so what you're gonna do is once you created the test portal you're going to go wherever you want it to come out now you can't put it right inside the portal because then you'll keep going as soon as you go in there you'll enter the portal and go right back to where it is so you have to put it outside of the portal or outside of where the water is going to be for the second portal um, so try not to make this too confusing <laughs> I'll do my best but um, what you're going to do is you're going to go to where the first pro portal is going to um, send you so you go here let's say I just wanted to set here and you do forward slash I G set I think it's one word no no it's not set to and then the name test so it's going to say the new two point of the portal is set. So now, if I were to go through the portal, it sets and I go there. But we haven't created the water yet. So what you're going to do is you're going to use your wooden axe and you're going to left click one part and right click another part. So that's selected from here to here in between there. Now you can do a bigger area like from here and then select a top block here and it will do a giant square. You know, you can figure it out. Um, but once you do that, you're going to, you don't have to look in any general direction or anything. You just type IG add from, and then you're going to do test, because that's the um, test, that's the name that we made. So that says from area added to the portal. So now you know that that's the area that you're going to do. Um, you're going to go in there. It's going to send you there. So now what you have to do is you're going to type IG set on. So now what the crap bad using of command need argument oh my bad my bad set on test you have to name it <laughs> been a little bit of time since I've used this um, so there you go you got your portal you got your end you're gonna go through sorry it's a little bit laggy but it'll speed up usually it's instantaneous um, but I don't know why it's not but you go through there and it comes right out now you're probably wondering oh but I want to be able to have a second portal to go through so all you're gonna do is basically repeat the steps with an another portal but I'm gonna do this IG create and then I usually just do test and then two or you know something similar so that you know when you're going back and you have to oops and you have to um, like you know remember if you have to edit it or anything you can do that um, so I just did portal and then you do or you know, <laughs> forward slash ig create space 
and then the name, which is test2, and then space water, or lava, I guess you could change it. Um, but then you're just going to repeat the same steps, basically, as before, and you're going to want to put this. Once again, don't put it inside the water, just put it somewhere here, and you're going to do IG set2, and then you're going to do test2. So you set the 2 position. So now, you're going to come back over here, and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to select the block that you want, and you're going to do IG add from test2. You don't have to do capital, I just usually do that. Um, so now you have this area, and you just do the same thing, IG set on test2. So now it's on. And there you have it. That's a simple portal. Um, you can make it as far as you want, <laughs> as far as I know, you know, I don't think there's a distance. Uh, but if you do want to delete the portal, like say if you mis have a mistake or something, you just do IG delete and then you name it test or test2 and you delete both the portals. Um, so it's pretty simple um, actually and I'll show you some of the portals that I have working. They work good. Um, but yeah, I think this is a great plugin. I highly recommend it. Um, I haven't really tested that many other um, portal plugins. I'm sure there are ones equal or better than this. But in my opinion, this is the easiest and um, best one. So here's all my portals. Um, I have these set going to different areas. And like you see, this is um, just a, another example for, you know, that kind of. And then there's some other ones, you know, like this. I don't want to bore you with my server, though. I'm just showing you around. There's another portal. And um, that's basically it. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I hope to make some more um, tutorials on plugins because I know that sometimes it can be complicated and frustrating if you can't find a video. Um, and I'm not saying that there aren't videos of this, but I figured this was a good typical um, plugin that people would want to know how to do uh, mess around with. Now, um, this is an easier one because there's not really any settings that you have to edit in the text um, that I, I, I don't think I can remember any. I'm pretty sure it's all uh, you just install it and then you're ready to go and you do what I said and um, you'll have your portals up and ready to go so uh, like I said thanks for watching uh, like comment subscribe if you have any questions feel free to ask me um, and I should be able to answer them I'm not the guy that made it or anything so I can't go into really detailed questions but I should be able to answer them um, and I will as best as I can so uh, I'll see you in the next video